Okay, so in this video we're just going to have a quick look at the dynamic range boost feature in the Panasonic GH6 and just particularly what shooting modes you can and can't use with it. So the dynamic range boost feature is essentially extending the stops of the camera further than they can go without this feature. So um, with it switched off, it, it, Panasonic claim it can do 12 stops of dynamic range in the vlog profile and with the dynamic range boost on, they're claiming you can get an additional stop. So that's 13 plus stops in vlog with it on and 12 plus with it off. But the catch with it is that the max output on the sensor with dynamic range boost on is actually 60 frames a second. So that does limit our um, the high frame rate modes and the VFR mode. So let's quickly jump into the camera and we'll just sort of have a look. So in my quick menus, I've got a lot of this already set up. Um, there's a I've done a video about how to set quick menus, which there'll be a link above. You can jump into that. Um, so I've got my profile there. We're in vlog. Um, if we jump over, um, dynamic range boost off at the moment. So our recording qualities. We're in the um, in the MOV format. So we've essentially got access to you know pretty much every shooting profile there. Or if that is every single one, all of them. And then when we head over to um, DR Boost and switch that on, you can see it starts to cut them down a little bit. Um, so if we jump across into these, you can see they're all under, um, my camera's set to PAL, so we've got 25 and 50 options. So you can see in there, they're all just, a few have been dropped out. All of the high frame rate runs for um, HD are gone some of the lowers are in there and you can also see as we go because I have VFR as a um, option in my menu so you can see um, VFR is this one here let me go to there we go so you can see VFR pops on when you can do it um, again this will be slightly limited so um, we've got we go into one of the lower ones actually because you've got more scope to actually do more um, variable frame rates in those so if we jump into one of the HD modes, um, we'll select that. And then if we head over to VFR, if we switch that on, you can see we're locked off at 50 on my camera. Um, if we go back, we can jump into, um, sorry, if we say one of the 4K modes, for example, say 420, because again, that's got the most scope for um, VFR. Jump into VFR, switch it on again we're sort of locked off to 50 so it's just something to be aware of I mean if it's a bright day you're filming outside or you're in a really low light setting um, the dynamic range boost might be a good addition to what you're doing but it's just worth being aware that you're not going to be able to get those really high frame rates so you're not going to be able to um, shoot in anything above 60 frames a second so you know no 4k 120 or any of the really high shooting modes in HD mode. So hopefully that's useful if you know if you're buying the camera based on those 13 stops of dynamic range. It's just something that's worth knowing. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you want to see more GH6 content, subscribe to the channel. Or if you want to know anything more about the um, DR Boost feature, just um, drop a comment below.